Hello, hello. It is a nice day today. It is real warm. And I am making my t-shirt cooler. And uh, not in, in the fashion sense, but in the air sense. And I'm not wearing my shador. And it is gorgeous outside. The trees are waving in a mild warm wind the birch tree is making such beautiful sounds like a, like little gold plates clicking together it's just so gorgeous like lots of little gold platelets are flipping together like this in the wind it's beautiful and all these needle trees they are whipping up and down with their very beautiful leather like consistency I love it and the rhododendron are waving like this <laughs> I love it I just I'm so happy to be here it's gorgeous so I thought uh, this is a perfect time to make a video now and I've been wanting to make a video about this subject for a long time but other important subjects popped up that were more important at the time but I thought okay I'm going to address the subject right now and that is overpopulation this is a burning burning subject and I'm sure that every person who is corporate and who wants as many people as possible and who is driving that religion vehicle as their propaganda means and um, trying to implement the idea into people that there should be as many people as possible so that there is no more space at all but so that all these people will buy things they, they will all these people will buy the products of Microsoft and breast implants and dental and facial lifts and all these clothes all these designer clothes and all this over consumerism at Walmart and so they want as many people as possible so they can sell as many things as possible okay. so my question goes to those folks who have their 2000 acre ranch somewhere in rural US far up far away from the main roads you know their private roads that go way way in and they have all that space all for themselves and these iron gates cement walls Berlin walls around the entire 2000 acres and they live in ultimate luxury well I'm happy for them my question though is do you want overpopulation and then in the end have mobs basically break into your iron gates assault your bodyguards because they're just in the majority and take over your castles take your Jackson Pollock paintings put holes into them and okay that's my question do you want that no well I guess it you don't want it so therefore you don't want overpopulation correct so then don't propagandize it into the church and into the populist body okay do propaganda for family planning instead then 
if you want to keep your 2,000 acre ranch clear and free and all for yourself okay and I'm not this might sound sarcastic but it's not sarcastic I'm just playing a little bit with semantics that's all I want this to sink in you know I want this to become very crystal clear and my question goes out to the populist body do you want more and more and more violence do you want more mob mentality do you want to be robbed as you come out of the grocery store do you want to be assaulted maimed butchered slayed hammered <laughs> uh, shot in the wrong places that's my question you know do you want this or do you want a peaceful civilized wonderful life with plants with meadows with happy animals you know the choice is ours so that's why I say pro-choice because the choice is ours we can choose to have a beautiful planet with peace with a decent population that is not crowded no mob mentality where everybody is happy and content has where everybody gets their share of things you know or do you want to actually choose the other because of the the ego and the religion and, and so on you know? so that's my question you know what what do you want you want peace and happiness or do you want ego conflict religion suppression oppression and so on you know and I know that everybody wants peace everybody wants to see happy animals and lush green healthy plants and trees and not dying oak trees because of pollution which is happening right now and that's why I say one child per woman or no child okay that is the choice every woman can make against society against her her husband and if her husband is violent and oppressive she needs to get out she needs to leave she needs to do everything she can to leave when you're leaving your husband you have to make sure that if you have animals and children that they are safe from your husband and from any kind of danger you have to make sure that you bring your animals and children with you wherever you go make sure that they're safe at any point in time it's very very important and then we can do better we can the whole society can can recover and we can everything can heal if everybody stands up for their rights and for justice and for kindness so take care